Welcome to Wild Birds Unlimited tutorial for the Merlin and eBird apps on the Google Play Store. Sign in with your Cornell Lab account. If you do not have an account, then you can sign up by clicking down here. It will bring you to a page where you might have to put in some information. Type in your first name, last name, a username, and a password, and your email. And then hit Create Account. Go to your email to activate your account, and the email should look a little bit like this. Now that your account has been activated, you can type in your address. You can either save this or you can skip this step. It is recommended to save your address so the app can know where you are and what kind of birds are in your local area. Now use your username and password to log into your eBird account. Now that you're logged in, you can select your account, hit the back button, and it will bring you to the front page. This should have the date, time, and a button that says Start Checklist. Before starting a checklist, you might want to think about getting packs first. Now here, it will give you packs based on your location. You can download multiple packs if you plan on going to other places too. For example, there's a pack for Washington State, say you want to travel up to Canada. You simply hit the Get button and it downloads a pack of birds in British Columbia, Canada. This will help you find birds in your local area a lot quicker. Great, so you have a couple of packs installed. Now hit the back button and let's start a checklist. Now, if you have GPS turned on on your phone, it will give you several options for birds you might be able to see in your area. Let's say you saw two American robins pecking around on the ground. Simply press twice on the plus button right to the left of the name. This will notify the program that you've seen two American robins. If for some reason you can't find the bird that you're looking at on the list, you can always specify how many you've seen and what kind of bird you've seen and type it into the search bar. For example, if you've seen four bush tits, simply type in the number four and then bush tit. And there it is. And in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see a check mark and that shows you how many birds you've seen. If you feel like taking a break from birding, just hit the stop button. You can always come back later and edit the checklist. For the checklist, always make sure that you choose the location you're at. If you have your GPS on, auto-selected is probably the best option. If you hit the close button, it'll bring you back to the main screen. If you ever feel like going back and editing that checklist, at the bottom left-hand corner, there's an icon. Click on that and click on your checklist and you should be able to edit it. This way you can take breaks in between if you need them. If you're ready to submit your checklist, then hit review and then hit submit. eBird lets you do this, whether you're stationary, traveling, or just on the fly. And those are the basics of eBird. Now I'd like to talk to you about the Merlin Identification app. To sign up, you have to enter your email address and hit submit. Now go to your email and there should be an email there from Cornell Lab of Ornithology about the Merlin app. Simply click the button to confirm your email and continue using Merlin. If you have your GPS turned on, then Merlin will be able to track your location. This is highly recommended. Choosing View Suggested Pack is probably the best option based on your location. This location is the US West Coast. Go ahead and click Install. One of the coolest things about the Merlin app is the Photo ID option. When you see a bird, try to take a photo of it. Once you have your photo, zoom into the bird until it fully fills the box. Hit Next and then hit Identify. And there you go! It comes up with a picture of the bird that you just saw. There will be a few options, however, the first one is normally correct since this program is over 90% accurate. If you'd like to know what it sounds like, you can hit the speaker in the bottom left hand corner. If you want to learn more about it, then hit the Information button in the bottom right hand corner. From here, you can read all about it. Hit This is my bird, and you can report it with eBird. How cool is that? Both of these apps work very well with each other. Another way to identify your bird is to hit Start Bird ID. In order for the app to identify what bird you saw, you need to tell it where you saw the bird, what day you saw the bird, what size the bird is, and the colors. Now where was the bird, and what was it doing? Now hit Identify. Once you find it, hit This is my bird, and then you can go to eBird and report what you saw. 
One more way you may identify birds on this app is to use the Get Sound ID option. Press this and then simply hit download. After downloading, you can use the Sound ID option. If you get close to a bird, you can record their sound. Once it has detected a song, it will give you some matches. Seeing as this is the best match, you can go ahead and hit This is my bird, and it will go straight to eBird, just like the others. These are the basics of eBird and Merlin and how they can work together. Very useful for birders, both new and experienced. Thank you for watching.